me so Randy, you. Randy, it's nice that you you came to visit Cindy today. So tell us what's been happening. Uh, well, I uh, drove down from Washington. Uh, that's where I live in Washington State, Bremerton. Mm -hmm. It's a big Navy town. Uh, my ship is was the USS Honolulu, but no longer. It's uh, being decommissioned. And we just got finished doing that, so now I'm going on to the USS Ohio. Uh, in case you didn't know, those are submarines. I'm a submariner. What do you do on the submarine? What's I'm your job? I'm an electrician. And, uh, and a boss of about 11, 11 other electricians that work underneath me. Are you a tough guy and a boss? You're a good boss. Nah, I'm a good boss. <laughs> oh, good. So what's Washington like? It's raining. <laughs> it rains all the time. Do you like the rain? No, I hate it. So what else has been happening in the last six months? Uh, six months? Well, I have a dirt bike, and I do a lot of that. What kind of dirt bike? It's a KX250F. It's a big bike. It's fast. Okay. It's four-stroke. But for the girls up there, what color is it? Green. Ooh. <laughs> uh, a snowboard. Can't wait till snowboard season starts. Uh, picked it up last year, but I uh, fell in love with it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, uh... <laughs> so what rank are you now? I'm a first class petty officer. Or electrician's made first class if you're only a technical. Yeah, uh, I, made, I made first class last December. And it's probably about as high as I'm going to get because I'm getting out of the Navy in 650-something days. Around there. It's a little less than two years. So, so how come you didn't want to want to re-sign up again? Oh. <laughs> how much time you got? <laughs> <laughs> Um, it's, the Navy's been alright, but it's not, I don't, it's not what I want for the rest of my life. It's a stepping stone. What do you think you're going to do when you get out of the Navy? Make lots of money. I'm going to go to school first, I'm going to be a full-time student for a little bit, and then get a job, be an electrician. Super. It's not like electrician, like, oh, let me wire your house or whatever. It's motors, generators, motor controllers, circuit breakers, like, maintenance electrician. They taught you all that stuff in the Navy? Yep. So, so when you go to college, what exactly are you going to study? Well, right now I'm taking classes, and I hope by next summer to have my degree, my ma or a bachelor's degree in nuclear science technology. That'll be through Thomas Edison State College. But once I get out, I'm going to get a degree in electrical engineering. And I don't really know where yet, but uh, I won't be that far off from it. I'll probably only be in school for about a year. But I'm uh, pretty close to a degree right now, just uh, a few credits. But When you say degree, which degree? Bachelor's. So have you been missing Cindy? Of course I do. She's my mother. Tell us some good parts about Cindy. What makes her a great mom? Uh, she's caring. She buys me stuff sometimes. Like what kind of stuff? <laughs> Today she bought me bed sheets. But it was kind of a late birthday gift. Do the bed sheets, what do they look like? Uh, do you have designs on them? No, they're just... Uh, so yeah, I thought you they're, they're, they're manly. They're oh, not they don't have like little sailors on them. Sailors, no. <laughs> One thing I'm not, I'm not the whole navy thing. It's not, uh, not that much into the whole navy thing anymore. That was six years ago. So what, what kind of a thing are you about now? I'm about, uh, I'm about me. That's about it. There's no nobody else. It's all all about me. Just getting your life on track, right? My life is on track. My life is on the straight track. My life basically starts the day I get out of the Navy, which would be two, September 5th, 2009. So, I'm going out to sea in January for four months, so write me, but uh, I don't know my email Oh, and what's that email address? I don't know yet. I haven't reported my new boat yet. Oh, okay. Well, whatever it is, if you do email me, you can't send me pictures, you can't send me videos. Uh, it's got to be regular font, because it's not like a regular email address you have at your house. It's a super duper secret website. It's not even a website. It's a, it's a signal. We put a little antenna up out of the water, and they send it to us. So, so when you're in the submarine, do they have windows that look outside like at the Disneyland submarines? No. Okay. Well, that's the one I know about. No, those don't wear, really work that deep underneath the water. Plus, it's too black. It's dark underneath the water. And we operate at night, too, so there's really no point. What are you going to see? You're just going to see water. Well, when I was in Disneyland, we saw, you know, sunk buried treasure and mermaids and things. There's no buried treasure out there. Oh, okay. Just, well, just water. Did just you see, like, sense. whales and stuff? Nope. Just I've never seen anything. I, I don't two, even... Two-headed dolphins? No, not two-headed dolphins. Just, uh, <laughs> I see my panel, 
and that's about it. It's so, it. when when you took your last submarine trip, where did you go? Just in general. Uh, I went out to went to Japan. We went to Okinawa. Went to Guam. Did you get Guam. to go on on shore and check things out? Mm-hmm. Not for very long, no. What did you think of Japan? Japan's awesome. It's awesome. Tell awesome. us what you saw. Uh, saw Tokyo. Saw uh, Rapungi. I saw lots of uh, interesting Japanese things. I don't know. Japan's well, not really that different from America, except the people are different. Uh, they uh, on the trains, and nobody talks on the trains. They all text and stuff like that. Um, things like escalators. They all stand on one side of the escalator, so people can get by. Of course, we were just a big gaggle of people and. Nobody eats and walks at the same time or drinks and walks. It's very clean and um, lots of good food, lots of cool stuff. What was your favorite thing to eat in Japan? Oh, I don't even know. Uh, no, we went to Okinawa, which is Japan, but it's a separate island. I uh, went to a famous sushi bar, and that was really good. So what was Guam like? Guam sucks. Guam what, is, what don't you like about Guam? It's humid, it's hot, and all we do when we're at Guam is work. And, uh, you know, it's a submarine life. And there's not much to do in Guam. There's a... Uh, there's bars, uh, strip clubs, which, you know, you know, you can only do so much of. You don't really, I'm not really all about that. Mm -hmm. and, and so what was the other place you went to? I went to Hong Kong. What was that like? Uh, pretty much, they're all pretty much the same. Once you've been to one Western Pacific port, they're pretty much all the same. Oh, I've been to Saipan, too. Saipan was kind of cool. Hmm. Saipan is just an island north of Guam. And there's not much there, but I had a lot of fun there. So Randy, what you got there? There's some awards my mom wants me to show everybody. Okay. This right here is the Navy and Marine Corps Achievement Medal. It's not that big of a deal, but not everybody gets them. Here, hold it open so we can I see will. it. Hold it. Okay. All right. This is uh, my end of tour award on the Honolulu. This is the Honolulu in the shipyard. Uh huh. All right. Getting ready to get taken apart, and you'll probably be shaving with her pretty shortly after. Actually, she's being scrapped in the metal. And what's this say? <laughs> this is a uh, part of the Navy. This is certified. The Secretary of the Navy has awarded the Navy and Marine Corps Achievement Medal to electrician, electrician's mate, first class, Randall Don Carpenter. Yes, his Navy. And then this is all the reason why. I actually uh, wrote it myself. <laughs> so you well, that's do that. nice. And it's signed uh, by my commanding officer for the Secretary of the Navy. Did and, you just, like, save anybody or anything? No, I just worked a lot. Oh, okay. I fixed a lot of stuff. And I ran a division. And this is a picture of my submarine. Out, probably off the coast of Pearl Harbor somewhere. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, it says Honolulu. Okay. And then, of course, they gave all of us plaques before we all left. This is a plaque. And what's it for? It's just, it's my end tour. My, my entire crew is done. We're all going to different boats and everything. So we had, like, a decommissioning ceremony before we all left, and we're all heading off to the new commands, because there's no more USS Honolulu now. So you can put Stop. that in your office one day when you own your electrical company? Uh, I'll let my mom put it in her office. And then <laughs> this right here is a little monument. This is uh, EM2. This actually should be EM1 Carpenter, but they messed that up. But uh, this right here is a, is a piece of the hull from my ship. Mm -hmm. uh, it's... And then this is, uh, the wood right here is from the battery well. Mm -hmm. uh, the pieces of wood that hold the batteries all together. And, of course, that's a submarine. Right? This is the Honolulu. This is dolphins, right? It's a big deal for submariners to have their dolphins. you got to be fully qualified on your submarine and know everything about it to your dolphins. Great. So, so thanks for sharing that with us.